I'm the director for the Franklin County Prevention Coalition, and we have been established for eight years in Franklin County. So what is the Franklin County Prevention Coalition? And so many times people ask me, well, what are you trying to prevent? Uh, well, I'm trying, and our organization is trying to prevent people from going to drug court. We're trying to prevent, you know, people from being uh, connected to the street drugs. Uh, but basically our goal is to, we're a community-based organization that is trying to educate to reduce substance abuse and violence in Franklin County. And how do we do that? Uh, you know, the doctor uh, mentioned while ago about grandma's uh, medications and how they're in the medicine cabinet. Well, what are we doing? We're giving away free medicine cabinet lock boxes so they can lock them up. Lock them up and count them. You know, count your medications in those uh, um, medicine cabinet lock boxes. Uh, seven years ago, we worked with our local law enforcement to establish a <coughs> drug disposal program. Every police department in Franklin County has a drug disposal box. So you can take your unwanted, unused medications there and get them off the streets so they don't get into the hands of uh, people trying to sell them or use them on the streets. Uh, and it also is part of our, our disposal system is, you know, for the environment as well. So it's not going back into the water supply from flushing them down the toilet or putting them in the coffee grounds and it going back into the agriculture and the environment, uh, environmental aspect. We're wanting uh, parents to uh, drug test their kids at home. You know, we give away free drug test kits. Why do we do this? When I ask the youth, you know, why do you think we give away free drug test kits? And they say, to get us in trouble? You know, that's their first answer. Well, it's not. When we initially started that uh, strategy, it was for them, for them to go to school and say, hey, my parents have a drug test at home, and they can drug test me at any time. And I don't want to lose my, you know, everything, my, my Xbox, my car, or whatever. But we also wanted the parents to do it as a first uh, onset for them to swab their children's mouth and if there are you know we test for alcohol and marijuana and opiates and other drugs and if there is any indication that they're using let that be prevention so they don't end up you know at you know five ten years down the road having to be uh, put into drug court or nick arresting them on the street for using or selling drugs addiction directly impacts 45 million families in america 90% of those in need of treatment do not receive it. Addiction is a national health crisis, not a crime. And drug overdoses now surpass car accidents as the leading cause of accidental death in the United States. Mm -hmm. So you can see just by that that there is a significant problem. Part of the worst problem of drug offense is because of your well-intended, highly trained physicians. Your health department, your dollar, and you've got one in every county or metropolitan area in all 95 counties, we, as a rule, do not give so-called nerve pills or pain pills. That's not our job. But the physicians that minister to you when you are your weakest, when you are your neediest, must take care of your pain. And so we wish to do good. That's why we go to school, why we give away our youth. And so we were taught when I was very young in medicine, a thousand years ago, that we weren't doing a very good job of taking care of your pain. And we were brought to task over it. Well, boy, did we change. <laughs> and so now we gave away enough <coughs> prescriptions of Vicodin to give every man, woman, and child in Tennessee, what, 50 Vicodin per person? Well, that's not hard to do. All you have to do is get a few people hooked on it. You can never dig your way out of the hole by giving them more Vicodin. Or name your drug. If we can assist the person to stop their addiction, the criminal behavior stops. And we've seen that over and over. We're, we're extremely proud of the fact that, I don't know how many graduates we have now from the program, but it's a number of folks, we've had people come into the program that uh, 
had not graduated from <coughs> high school and have ended up with master's degrees over the past 10 years. Uh, it, it's amazing what can occur when an individual stops the addiction. The Prevention Coalition, that's what our goal is, is to build capacity in the community uh, and everyone working together, regardless of your political party, your faith-based organization or whatever, because we're required to have the 12 sectors in the community as part of our coalition. <coughs> So when we talk about working with law enforcement, they're at our table. We're talking about drug courts at our table, the health department, they're at our table. Um, we have two men that work with us right now who are in recovery, and they cover 23 counties, and they're trying to assist in developing um, AA meetings, NA meetings, and assisting people getting into recovery. One of them a graduate of Franklin County Drug Court, and we're so proud of him. So that's what the Prevention Coalition does in a nutshell. Um, in my five minutes that I can give to you. But um, besides that, you know, we provide opportunities for multiple trainings and try to be a great resource not only to the community, but especially to our young people.